What is going on guys? Olex here with another video and today we're going to be talking about Windows Insider program and why you might want to join it. Stay tuned. So what is Windows Insider program? Well, as Microsoft describes it, it's a community of Windows biggest fans who get to be the first to see what's next. And it's always exciting to see what's coming out, so if you're one of those people, then this program might be just right for you. This includes uh, application updates, bug fixes, uh, and even new versions of uh, operating system like Windows 11. And you might have heard that Windows 11 is coming out, but it's not due uh, until October 5th, that's when the official release is. So uh, if you want to try and sneak peek and try the OS before its official release, then this is where Windows Insider program comes into picture. Now, in order for you to become a member of the Windows Insider program, the first thing you need to do is you need to register with the program. And there are two ways to do that. Uh, one is through Windows settings, and I'm going to be showing you that later in the video. And the other way is to Go to Microsoft website and register over there. So you can just uh, type in Google Windows Insider program, then you're going to click on register link, then you're going to click on sign in now, and you're going to sign in with your Microsoft account. And by the way, if you don't have one, just go ahead and create it. It's very simple. And after that, you can just sign in with your Microsoft account on the machine that you're planning to use for your Windows Insider build. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to, what Windows calls it, start flighting. Flighting basically means that you go and install Windows Insider builds on your machine. And before you do that, you have to actually select the flighting channel. Now there are three channels available and what channel you choose totally depends on the level of experience that you want to have based on the quality of Windows uh, that you want to have for your machine. And in order for you to decide what channel to choose, you have to answer these four questions first. How stable do you want your device to be? What type of uh, issues can you handle on your own? Uh, how early in the development uh, you want to see new features and whether you want to deal with Microsoft support or not. Now based on that you're going to choose from three available channels which is dev channel, beta channel and release preview channel. Let's start with the most stable and the earliest to release version which is the release preview channel. Uh, this is the version that you would get just a little bit ahead of the general public and what it means is basically that it's most likely thoroughly tested by Microsoft and all major issues have been fixed. So this is the type of uh, channel that you want to go for if you don't want to deal with uh, any major issues and you just want to see it right before it goes live uh, for the general public. Now the next one is beta channel and this is also a tested version of Windows that Microsoft has already planned for a specific version of Windows like Windows 11 for example. And this is actually the one that I would recommend you choose if you want to try Windows 11 for yourself. And at this point in time, Microsoft is going to collect as much feedback as possible from users running different hardware configurations uh, because it's always hard to test everything uh, within the test environment. That's why they have this beta channel where they have the community, which is Microsoft Insider community that chose beta channel that provide the feedback on major issues that they might see because there is so many different uh, hardware configurations from processors to graphics card to motherboard and so on. Beta channel is relatively stable but still uh, with the multiple configurations it still gives them the time to fix any major issues that might be reported by the beta community so they have that time to fix it uh, right before uh, the official release but it's still not as stable as the release preview version because release preview version is actually the one that already has all these major fixes that were reported by the beta tester. The last one is dev channel. This is the most raw experience that you can get. This is going to have the latest build number uh, and it's going to be the uh, earliest in the development life cycle. Uh, it's also going to be the least stable version and uh, with uh, a lot of features being as work in progress that uh, don't have specific release assigned to it. They might go to Windows 11 or Windows 12 if we are going to see Windows 12 or they might never go live at all. And this is for those people that are more technical that are willing to deal uh, with issues on their own and don't expect any support from Microsoft. And also please don't sign up for the dev channel with the computer that you use for everyday work or that you have important information on because this is going to be, as I mentioned, the most unstable version 
with the most amount of bugs that might wipe out all that valuable information that you have. Now the question you might be asking, can you switch the channel once you chose one? And the short answer is yes you can. But it's always going to be easier to uh, update from the uh, earliest version to the latest version. And uh, in our case, it's going to be so much easier to go from the release preview channel to beta channel to dev channel. Uh, uh, then going the other way around. And the reason for that is the dev channel is going to have the highest bill number. And it's going to be really hard to go down because the beta channel and the release preview channel are going to have... Uh, lower build numbers but there are still options to do that and the first one is you can go ahead and turn off automatic updates uh, on your dev channel and then wait until the build channel is gonna have higher uh, uh, build number than your uh, dev channel but uh, the problem here is you never know how long it might take Microsoft to to make that beta channel have higher build number than the dev channel uh, so the other option is you can go into the settings menu and uh, I'm going to show you right here and you can go ahead and uh, delete uh, some of the updates and see if that reduces your uh, build number. If that's not the case then the other thing you might want to do is you can uh, delete the windows and you can reinstall it and sign up for beta or release preview channel again but this is just going to be so much more hustle and you don't want to go that route. So now that you know the basics, what is Windows Insider program, how to choose the right channel, uh, let's jump into my laptop and I'm going to show you how you can sign up for the program through the Windows settings menu and how uh, you can choose your channel. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm actually going to go to my Windows update and I'm going to show you the version that I currently have. And as you can see, uh, it says that you're up to date. So now what we're going to do is we can go ahead and we can either type in Windows Insider program right here. And as you can see, we have Windows Insider program settings. So you're going to click on that. And it's going to take you to this setting. And, or if you cannot find that, you can also go ahead and click on the settings, then click on update and security. And as you can see over here at the bottom, we have Windows Insider program. So you're going to click on that. And as you can see that it says that to manage the Windows Insider program settings for your device and allow it to stay in the Windows Insider program, you'll need to turn on optional diagnostic data. And remember how uh, in one of my videos I was, uh, actually it was the video that I was talking about what, uh, how to set up the, uh, how to set up your PC after you've uh, assembled it. And I was telling you that you should not turn this on, but if you want to use the Windows Insider program you have to. So in my case I'm going to have to turn it on. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. And as you can see, the first thing it tells me already is that my PC does not meet the minimum hardware requirements recommended for Windows 11. And there may be issues and bugs that impact your experience. But however, we still can still sign up. So let's go ahead and get started. And it says that you need an account registered in the Windows Insider program to get Insider Preview builds. Register this account or switch the one you already registered. And you can either switch the account or I'm going to register my current Microsoft account. And then we're going to click sign up. We've accept the agreements. And it says you're good to go. Thank you for registering for the Windows Insider program. Now let's get your device set up. So let's do that. And an account so this is where you're going to select your Microsoft account I have only one so I'm going to choose that one and 
and here's where you're gonna pick your channel and in my case I'm just gonna see what's missing on my laptop to test out the Windows 11 so I'm gonna select the beta channel and this is actually the one that's recommended so I'm just gonna hit confirm and I'm gonna hit confirm and I'm gonna say restart later because I'm recording my screen right now so that was it we signed up for the Windows Insider program and now after we restart and we go to Windows update and we check for updates we should be getting updates that was it for this video I hope you found it useful and I hope you learned something about Windows Insider program different channels and what are the criteria to choose certain channels and if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in the next one.